Hello and good evening everyone. How's it going? Oh my god. <clears throat> it's not going too well here, but you know what? I'm gonna try and change that by playing RimWorld. Cause I just wanted to. Holy crap. So, uh, we played this a few times and I think our colonies did not go so well. So, we're going to remove them. I did install a couple of mods and by a couple I mean a lot. <laughs> but these are all like... Well, they are mostly utility things and quality of life things. There are some game-changing stuff. See, something like this is quality of life, right? So when you place down like a turret or something big, it tells you exactly how many materials you're going to need. You have like different textures for stuff embedded into walls. There's like the construct of conduits instead of doing something weird as a heat map to see the, um, the temperature of every room. We have interaction bubbles. I thought that was funny. You know, you can see what people are saying to each other now. Uh, replace stuff is a very useful quality of life mod. So if you have a wooden room like this, right? Normally you would have to deconstruct a wall, pretty much destroying the room, and then replace it with a different kind. This allows you to replace it without deconstructing it first so your npc is gonna go there and it's gonna work on the wood to turn it into this it's very useful for building um where's my weapon it's actually a really cool mod when your minions are downed after a fight if you can manage to save them and if, if they recover they are going to automatically go and pick up their last equipped weapons so that's pretty good um, this is an improvement over the tabs of, for the food. This is a better UI for medical stuff. Yeah, cooler auroras. Okay, this is something that actually is a bit different. So, normally people can have a breakdown and they can start, like, harming your colony. This mod allows somebody with a high social skill to try and calm them down. So you go there, you make a... A social check with your best pal that can actually do that, your best talker, and there is a chance, a chance, a chance that they just calm down the metal break, or they can start a fight. Who knows? Hey, the jeweling kitty, how's it going? We have a bunch of um, hair packs because why not? Wall lights because they are better than standing lights. Um, this adds. A very interesting option in your crafting benches so you know that you can set stuff like craft five of these craft until you have se seven or something like that now this adds an option that says craft until you have one for each of your colonists so automatically if you have a new colonist in the colony your craft are gonna go there and just craft whatever they need so if they need another park if they need another hat this is always gonna keep up with the number of your colonists it's pretty neat. Um, this keep the doctors working if people are like in a near death situation. I feel like sometimes they just go to bed and there's people dying and I'm like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> so this forces them to stay up and treat at least the emergencies, okay? Um, small medicine. Right, the doctors will carry medicines with them. Share the load. Pretty much everybody can go and place down uh, materials when you try to construct something. Only one of them will do the actual constructing, but at least more people can help carrying the materials uh, over the blueprint. So that's pretty useful. Stone cutting improvements. This is just a pathing improvement. People will carry things while they're doing other stuff, if it's on the way, so it's pretty nice. Is it just that they don't have it, or does it work for people with tattered gear? Uh, I think if... Which one do you mean? The, um, the crafting one? I think it 
just you you set it in the crafting bench. So you say, uh, I want to craft hats until there is one for each colonist. So it, I think it's based on the crafting recipe that you are putting on the bench. I don't think it matters if people have tattered gear. It probably depends on your um, gear policy, though, right? So you can specify exactly what they can wear, so they only wear things that you are crafting. Now, we also have um, a UI, a better UI, a more detailed UI. Pick up and haul. This is actually very good. I think um, it improves how people pick up stuff and how they hold them instead of like going there and like picking up uh, the end of a stack and then going back and then re-pick up another stack if they pretty much they will just fill their inventories with everything they can and then they're gonna go back it's a lot better and let's trade is an expansion on trading that just adds a, a bit of a variation i think it's 25 new trader types so it, it's a bit more um varied that's that's pretty much everything of the half-life 2 <laughs> reference yeah so Without wasting any more time, let's just start a new colony. And bear with me, I haven't played this game that much. I have never finished it, so we're not going to go into crazy difficulties or anything like that. So we're going to start with a basic crash land. On, I think... I mean... I would like to play on medium. So this is a classic, right? She'll push with dangerous events and then she scales them. So the more time passes, the worse everything is going to be. I don't know what medium and uh, build up changes. Uh, major threats appear. But they're weaker than other modes. Some extremely dangerous events are disabled. Right. I think we want to go medium. There's room to grow and thrive, but it's still dangerous. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. What are we not doing? Please choose a commitment mode. Or reload any time. Oh, no. We're going to commit. Of course. We're not going to reload. We're not going to save scum. How fast things go to hell. They really do snowball, don't they? Uh, seed. Alright, I'm gonna click. A bunch of times. You guys can tell me stop and I will stop. How about that? Is that good enough? I will keep clicking, so you better say something. <laughs> No? Nothing? I'll stop myself then. In three? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and count to three then. One, two, three. Keep going. Well, then now... Okay. Artichoke. Whatever that means. Uh, generate. Hey, Grey Fox. Stop! <laughs> Alright, right. Oh, look at this place. How do we rotate? Ooh, okay. Wait, is this a... This is a very weird world, isn't it? It's a huge empty globe with a little bit of an island on, like... What is this, like 10%, 20% of the planet? Ooh, can we... Oh man, we can set up here. Ooh. Oh goodness. Looks like Australia. <laughs> Actually, it kind of does. Yeah. It really kind of does. This seems very dangerous. What's this? Hostile faction. The Harriet's Coyotes. Okay, I'm not going to go there. It's really cold in here, isn't it? Fuck me. Minus 41 winters. 
Okay, we want something temperate, I think. I would like to be on a river and on a road. So this is actually not too bad. Minus 17 to 24? That's, that's alright, isn't it? Do I have any other intersection? This is one. Minus 17 to 22. What is the story? Are we runaway prisoners? I, I have no idea. I think it's a crash land, but we don't know what we were doing before crash landing. We'll probably make something up based on the kind of guys that we um, that we find. Uh, minus 13 to 24. This seems really good, right? A bit flat, but... Do we have... It? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here. I want nearby colonies. I want people next to me. Because if we have to form a caravan and go meet with random people, I would like for them to be nearby. We do have a hostile, though, very close. Um. Oh, look, we also have this. Oh, I like this. How much is it? Average temperature 10, it's minus 6 to 27. So we're gonna have some uh, hot summers. You know what? Nah. I'm gonna go there. I'd rather have a temperate and colder environment. Hey there! How's it going? Are you leveling? Is this a road? Oh, there's this one. This one is also... You are? Oh. oh. How's it going? Love being tankier already. <laughs> I know, right? Alright, I'll, I'll stop looking. We'll settle here. I, I hope this is a road. There's a river, there's a road. Temperatures are... F fuck, a bit colder than I expected. Um, never mind, back to the original plans. I I'm gonna stop now, I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> Since this location is within four thousand of another faction base, they will feel you are encroaching on the land, and relations with those factions will worsen every 15 days. Oh, I don't want to, no. Can we be chill with the other factions? Oh, come on now. I don't want to be hostile. Oh, god damn. Not dying is just great. Uh, it is, it really is. Especially in this expansion where people are just... So tough. Is this better? This is better. Okay. So. Colonists. We have Ifa Aurora. She's good at shooting. She's good at mining. She's good at crafting. She's good at medical. But she is incapable of anything intellectual or artistic. So I am afraid she's not going to do much medical. Possibly not much crafting. After a huge riot, a space station prison also known as the Albasters was destroyed. The only survivors were a few lucky prisoners that are now forced to live together. I mean, we have a starship janitor. <laughs> With asthma. An asthmatic janitor. Oh my god. Are these people... She's ugly. And she's a transhumanist. So she wants to have... Enhance artificial body parts, right? So what exactly is intellectual stuff is crafting intellectual? Or is it just the research and artistic it's probably just the research and artistic. Okay, so she's all right actually Crafter and shooter. Okay, you, uh, Effa, you're fine. You're in. Uh, then we have Chaz. <laughs> of course we have Chaz. 
which is incapable of anything violent. He's also very greedy. He needs a really impressive bedroom. He's volatile. So it's just... And he's a psychopath. That is not a good combo, is it? That is a really terrible combo. A volatile, greedy psychopath. I don't know if I want this guy. He's also 54. Greedy Vazal, yet non-violent psychopath. Oh, yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's probably just gonna yell at people. And then we have Takashi Parson, which is incapable of caring, social, firefighting, and holding. Oh my god, he's a pyromaniac ascetic, and he loves to be on the ground. What the hell? Okay, can we have someone better? Uh, te okay, technically we could. So she, Aurora Murtor. Where did you get these people? I mean, I don't choose them. She's incapable of anything intellectual and artistic, yet again. I mean, if we do that, though, we, we, we're gonna need somebody to do research. She's, um, she's a good medic. And decent as social stuff. She's iron willed. A misandrist. Really dislikes and trust distrust men. Come on, Aura. It's 2019. You can't do that. And she's neurotic. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay. I'm not I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna take the janitor with asthma. Okay? We have a sailor, Beatrice. She's incapable of skilled labor. Oh my god. We have Marie Severe. She's asthmatic as well. Incapable of caring, social, and firefighting. But she's a good cook. She's a good shot. And we have Susumu Pena. Incapable of being violent, but he's really good at everything. Planting, medical, intellectual, construction. This is actually pretty good. He's incapable of violent. He's a wimp. <laughs> I mean, even a little pain will immobilize him. Oh no. Uh, he's greedy and he's abrasive. He says exactly what's. Okay, you know what? You're in. We're gonna go with. No, we're not gonna go with the psychopath. Yeah, we're gonna go with Aura, I think. So, well, apparently we have a... Oh no, never mind. If I Aura and Susumu. Right, you guys are in. Oh my god, here we go. <sighs> okay, a bunch of mod stuff. The three of you are waking your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As a piece of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Soon after they land, they can feel the tension in the air. They know that their best chances are with each other. But can they really trust each other? We don't know. Alright. Okay, so, uh, I don't remember anything about this game. Um, but... Oh, look at this. Look at this... Oh, camera dolly. Okay, Look at this great UI. So, who's the best shot? Um, 7.37. Okay, Effa. You get the... You get the... The shoddy. Aura, you get a pistol. And Susumu, you can't really do anything violent, but can you at least pick up the knife? Yes. So, how do I... Okay, I can select them, and then I can press F to allow. 
So obviously we're gonna allow everything. What's that? A flak vest. Oh, effa. Oh. Oh, effa, effa. We have silver, we have a plastil helmet. Some components, some steel. Uh, what is that? Flak pants? If I'm doing something wrong with the game, you'll tell me? Okay, good. <laughs> Instantly. You're doing something wrong with the game. Oh, this is a nice place. Can we set up here? Need a bridge, maybe? And next to the... Oh, what's that? Package survival meal. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot of boomalobes. Anything that I should be aware of around here. What is that? A cougar. Oh, shit. A boomerat. Uh, isn't there always like an ancient evil is gonna be in here? Or here. Oh, this looks like an ancient evil. Alright. So, uh, I think we're gonna set over here. And um, before we start hauling, we should plan, right? So, for example, we can do a zone. I kind of want to set up near the bridge because I think... I think the AI in this game is kind of dumb and if you're near a bridge and people attack you, you will... they will go through the bridge. Which is really nice. So, I think we're gonna set up right here in this area. And we can start maybe by building a little structure or at least planning a little structure. Okay, how are we going to do this? We're going to need a big room. So, for example, if we make something like this. Okay. The fastest route, right. I should probably block off this then at some point. So, this can be our first uh, room. We can have a freezer. Uh, behind here, I think we can have a little, um, let's have a little stockpile zone. I don't like what I'm doing though. Can I, can I remove these? <laughs> Do I cancel? Okay. I'm gonna make something like this behind the house, a little st inside stockpile. So, if we say uh, zone, stockpile, we do this. That is a stockpile, right? If we click it, we can specify no food, uh, no corpses, no chunk, allow rotten, allow fresh. Shh, don't allow rotten. Then we can make like an another zone. Is that a different zone? I think it is. And this one, this one is gonna be just the food. Right? Fresh. From the doors. Right, the doors. Um so furniture. No. Uh, structure? Doors. We're gonna have a door right here for the freezer. A door here, a door here, and do we want a door outside? Sure, one there. In case we need to go back and forth. So that is gonna be our main area for food. We're gonna put a table, we're gonna put maybe some crafting stuff, and that's it for that. Uh, then we might want a sleeping area. So I'm thinking... Put the medicine in the freezer as well. Oh, right, yes. Yes. That is 
That is not what I wanted. <laughs> not the door. Because <laughs> medicine needs to be refrigerated, right? Items? Is that it? Raw resources? No. Where is uh, where's medicine? Manufactured medicine. There you go. Drugs too? Do they need to be refrigerated? Probably not. Or maybe yes. I don't know. What the hell do I know? Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to put down a little sleeping area. That is... Possibly expandable. We're going to think about power as well. I think I might place down like a... A hydraulic generator over here. If it's possible. So we want the beds to be... We also need some room for expansion, right? But one day we might just mine everything around here and expand this way and replant the freezer and everything. So maybe we should do uh, some like a common place to start with and then expand into rooms. How big do they need to be? I mean, I think for now we can do something like this. And have a door like... I don't know. Um, have I played Dwarf Fortress? No, I never played it. We want the doors... Right there. Uh, then if we go into furniture, we can place beds. How do you rotate? Q and E. Gotcha, so... One bed there. Uh, well, I guess for now we're gonna just put them close. And probably we're going to... What? I think I might want to do this. And for now... Just do this. You guys are missing out? I was always curious about that game. Oh my god, okay, already Susumu has puked all over the floor. Effa, I need you to equip the flak pants. Where's the flak vest? Oh, one guy decided to... Okay, cool. Uh, meanwhile, I think we may want to... We may want to start planting... Food. We need food, right? How do we do that? Um, is it a zone? Growing zone. So we want a growing zone. Maybe, Maybe somewhere around here. like this a couple of fields and what do we want in these things well I think we want uh, potatoes no rice is a good one and uh, do we want more food to begin with Rice is the fastest, right. Do we want to make heel root or maybe some cotton? Or just more food stuff, like potatoes. Maybe for now we can just settle for more food. We want to secure a supply of food, right? Ok, 
Okay, they are working. Um, furniture, we can have a table. Somewhere around here, so they can eat. With a couple of chairs. And... Um, Oh, look, there was a... Ah, oh, they talk. Right. That's cool. Do we want anything else? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, maybe production stuff. We want a butcher table. Possibly outside for now. I would say around here, outside the freezer. And then we can store the meat inside. And we want a stove. Not electrical. Is it not a normal stove? A wood... Uh, okay, this is the one. A wood fuel stove. Okay. And we want to put it like... Here, next to the fridge. For now. Alright. Growth rate is going down. Why? Okay, hold on. Oh, because it's night time. Right. It's almost grown. Uh, what is that? Berry bush. 66%. Is it? How do I know if something is already grown? Fully grown. Oh, somebody got berries. Okay, nice. Look, we have beds at least. That was pretty fast. That's a lot of steel as well. Uh, did we leave anything behind? Lots of steel. Oh, look at them sleeping. And what is that? Chiyo Wait, what, what? We have a pet? Chiyoko? A Yorkshire Terrier? What the hell? When did that happen? A doggo? You should stop. Wood to be cut. Oh, right, yes. We definitely should. Uh, how do we do that? Orders. Cut wood. Chop wood. Those are fine, I think. Oh, wait. I mean, we should cut wood around here and inside the house, maybe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough wood. Um, hunt. Should we start hunting stuff? I mean, we do have a little bit of food. Smooth surfaces. I don't know what that means. Oh, the berry bush was full. Okay, we can cut this then. Harvest. I think I might have to add Rimworld to your soundtrack playlist. It's good, isn't it? Like, it's very chill. It's 15 degrees outside, it's not that bad. Well, and inside, you know. What are they doing? We're two idle colonists. Okay, maybe we should start thinking about this then. Oh, okay, here's a problem. No one will do plant cutting. I think Effa. You should do some. Okay, so. Obviously we want everybody to be firefighting when possible. Uh, patienting. Go to a medical bed for treatment if you have an immediate life-threatening condition as well. So who's our best doctor? They are both really good doctor. Aura and Susumu. Susumu? But Susumu has a double plus, so he's gonna be our main doctor. Recreation options are low, people are unhappy. Already? Need recreation variety, right. 
We're gonna put something. Basic. Okay. Warden. Okay, so you are the only social guy. So Aura, you're the warden. Handle. Tame train harvest resources. Okay. Cook? Who's a cook? Who's cooking? Ten! Oh my god! Su Susumu, you're fantastic. You're a medic and a chef. And a plant grower as well. You all have too many jobs, I think. Um, smithing, tailoring, crafting and hauling. What are you doing, really? Effa. Not much. Hunt. Okay, you're gonna be... You're gonna be hunting. Priority two. And since you don't really do much else other than... I'm gonna give you a priority two for hauling just for now. Just for now. So for recreation, um, I don't think we have a lot of options for now. Recreation. We can put a horseshoe pin somewhere outside. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the back of the house. This actually does look like a game you play, and this looks like a game you can we can play at the same time. There's a multiplayer mod. Which is really cool. What mods am I playing with? A bunch of them. Like, mostly quality of life stuff. Aura is still idle. Is she? Aura. Wh why are you idle? What are you doing? Uh, not much, in fact. Uh, maybe, maybe you could start by hauling, cleaning. Basic stuff. Some handling would be nice. Still, still idle? She is still idle. Why is she not cutting plants? Can you cut plants, please? Yes, there you go. Aurora comment. Oh, 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 what's happening? Chiyoko snuggled up to Aura. Oh, lovely. So there are a bunch of mods that go from, like, utility stuff to completely changing the game. I've heard that there is a Lovecraftian mod called the Cthulhu mod. And it's a, it's a mod pack. There's a bunch of changes and eventually I think we want to play that. Because you know me. Oh look, it says they say hi to each other. Pretty nice. Now they're sleeping. How are we doing with food? Decent, but deteriorating. We need to turn this into a freezer, but to do that we need power. And to do that we need to put down a big... Um, should we start with a, with a wood generator? Somewhere like here. that down. Uh, we're gonna make a temperature. A cooler, right? So we want cold inside and hot outside. Like this. You must place it on the wall. Yeah, I know. There's gonna be a wall there. Well, one day we're gonna place a vent. But now, look at these guys. They are actually cutting down a lot of wood. They're working hard. Some of them hardly working at the same time. 
Uh, do we want to start hunting things? Probably not until we have a refrigerator. Oh look, the storage is complete. Nice. Do we want a utility door somewhere on the back as well, maybe? Oh look! That is now also complete. What's happening? There's a colonist idol, there's a visitor. A high world drone from Oramba is visiting the colony. She's named Lauren Mullins. Lucky. She seems to have a few items for trade. Oh, lucky. <laughs> you do like management. I should put in wooden floors. Yeah, I mean, that is going to be a lower priority, but eventually, yes. If I shared a word about board games with Susumu. Oh, think about that, board games. Probably need to install something. Okay, lucky is here. Who's our social? Five. This one. Aura? Trade with Lucy. Sorry, Lucy? Lucky. Right, uh, Lucky has... A psychic foil helmet, a chain shotgun, poor. Some medicine. Maybe we should buy some medicine. I do have 30, but I mean, honestly. Some meals? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, look at Effa building the wood gen. Perfect. Still 18 degrees. I think they are fine. It says we need defenses, but at the same time. It's like staring at the matrix. I mean, the uh, ASCII. ASCII? ASCII? How do you say that in English? ASCII? Version is um, really matrix. Since it looks like you've been here for a while, Aura thinks that we should give a faction a name. And also we should name the settlement. The Northeast Use. Okay guys, we need names. Come on. Spit them out. Somebody name the colony, somebody name the settlement. So the settlement is is this. This place right here. The faction is like the wherever we go we're always gonna be that fashion the Graylany and the Graylament the Gregson okay if we if you're not gonna put any effort into it I'm not gonna use those names <laughs> the Confederacy of Jarera Bush Hope <laughs> this is me paying effort <laughs> <laughs> Decency Mesa. See, that's a good name. Alright. I'm gonna call it the... Um, democratic. This is not gonna be a democracy. This is gonna be like... Um, the Runaways. <laughs> this, this, this needs a name. A strong name. It's gonna be like... Um, the totalitarian Cure Empire. Is that a thing that can an empire be totalitarian? I have no idea. <laughs> but this is gonna be, by God's sake, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the the TKE. There you go. And we can call this place Singersail? Cavedale? Adobe? Premiere? What? 
Hat 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 sure hat hat reminds me of um, Stan's father in the absolute monarch. <laughs> That's gonna be my title. <laughs> Remember um, Stan's dad from South Park? I says hot at heart. <laughs> That's the name of a colony. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hot at heart. <laughs> By the way, I know we can train the dog. In Final Fantasy XIV, your choco was called Greycobo. Everything is a like Gravia, Gravana, Grace, and Gray. Gray Lisa? Goodness me, Gray. Yes, we can actually teach this dog how to. Oh, it's too small? To train in this? It's a small dog. I can't have him hauling. That is a bit of a shame. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a freaking tiny dog. Okay, we have a roof over the freezer so we can install a actual freezer. Like that. Perfect. And then we can start hunting. Also, we need to set up. Oh, that needs a chair. Um, like that. I think this also needs a chair. And uh, I wanted to do something, I forgot what. Can put a wall light like there and one there and um, right we want to set the bills for this so we want to cook a few simple meals do until you have 10 20 to make sure And on the butcher table, we also want to butcher creatures forever. We always want to butcher creatures. And speaking of butchering creatures, then, uh, wasn't there a list of animals? Wildlife, there we go. So we can assign hunting in this one, right? So, oh my god, the chat is right in the middle of that. Okay, I'm gonna put the chat in the other corner. Uh, what do we want to hunt? I say we run, we're hunting hares and squirrels. Oh, Effa! Goodness me, your aim is terrible. Flipping heck! That is the worst shooting I've ever seen. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Where is she? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, okay, what's happening? There's a mad hare. What well, attack everyone he sees? Where is it? I'm probably gonna hunt it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh my god! It actually stunned and injured Effa. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Can, can you fight back? Punch it! Punch it! Stunned. Okay, move. Can you move? Okay, 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 shoot. Oh, 
God damn. Fuck me. Okay, go back to... Bed. I, th I think we need to heal. Oh, we need a hospital. Do we have a doctor? Who's the doc? Oh, what's that? Ship chunk. Damn. Do we have a doctor? Who's the doctor? Or... Is she? She's not. Susumu's the doctor. So why... Okay, Susumu's now attending to Effa. Goodness me, that was terrible. Oh, uh, we have light. Okay, so we might want to... Power... Mm, construct the conduits, right? So we want them running here. Here. Here, and then here. And then... Here. And here. It's not very efficient, but... I'll do. I don't like that we have a bunch of boomalops next to my houses. <laughs> but sure, we'll be fine. Wow, Effa, you're not even fully healed. What are you doing? Wait a second. Oh, but she's been tended to. Okay, oh, that's fine. Then. She's getting a little better at shooting. Eventually. I should be better at shooting, I think. Um, the other two are sleeping. Come day, they will probably start eating for once. That's how it is. I was gonna go pick up the bodies, and I wonder who's gonna construct. Ah, it is or should I hold some things like these? So it's P to hold them. I should probably take those things uh, back at base, right? Steel. I need to pay attention to these things because steel components they're gonna be like tough to come by. We might want to make sure we have everything. Or and Susumu chatted about pistols. Susumu said something about Millers to Aura. Cool. I thought no one is in the color right now. I don't know where they're going. He's going holding. Susumu's cooking. Oh my god, look at that. Perfect. And we have some leather. From the butchering. It's very nice. Wait, did we need a chair? There's a colonist idle. Who's idle? Aura. Why is she idle? Why, what are you not doing? Construct? I mean, why not? Cook? No. Don't grow. Don't mind. I mean, you can smith and tailor a little. You can craft, definitely. And you know what? Construct you you're shit at constructing, but we have you do nothing, okay? So it's just a tortoise just self-tamed. What? What's this tortoise? We want want to set up a bed for poor doggo. Um where is it? Furniture? 
Animal sleeping spot. Do, they, do we want to have them sleep inside with us? Should they sleep inside animals? I feel like they shouldn't. Oh my god, it's 30 degrees. That is really hot. People are going to be uncomfortable. Can we have a passive cooler in here? At least, maybe one in here as well. Can I set it so I have always a specific amount of wood? Hmm. Chop wood. There you go. I wish I could say something like Get me fifth have always fifty wood on hand. Or something like that. Hey Ridison Z, what mods am I using? A bunch of them. Uh can I can I check without quitting the game? I don't know. There's a, there's like about 20 mods installed, so I don't, I don't remember. It's mostly quality of life stuff. There's nothing game changing, new scenarios or weird Cthulhu stuff for now. Maybe one day. It is summer. Food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store enough food to survive the winter. Right. Uh, is this refrigerated? How do I know how cold is in this room? Twenty? Oh, fuck me. Oh, minus eight or seven, was it? How much is it for freezing stuff? Minus seven? There you go. It's going. There it is. My god, this bedroom is boiling hot. I can sympathize. <gasps> what the fuck just happened? A cougar just attacked my turtle. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know if I want to mess with this guy. It's fully healthy. Rip turtle. You barely made it to the colony and you've been immediately killed. Dwarf Fortress is not accessible. It's probably one of the most complicated games I've ever seen. Alright, people. Move outside, please, both of you. There you go, now attack. Oh, Sumo, what the fuck are you doing? Sumo, get the hell inside. Don't cross the line of fire, you idiot. Fuck. Okay, I mean, we... <laughs> this cougar is still coming at me, he's got... A freaking gunshot wound to the head. We shot out his left eye. We shot at his right eye. So it's pretty much a blind cougar at this point. There you go. Oh, good job, boys. Good job. Okay. Ephra. Rescue Cougar? No. Can you can you finish him off? Fire Cougar. Kill it. Kill the Cougar. It's right there. The Cougar is right there. Can you... Um, don't shoot a Susu. Ephra? Oh my god. <laughs> 
what is happening? <laughs> this reminds me of uh, that scene in the movie with Jim Carrey. Um, what was it called? You, me, and Irene, something like that, where he was trying to kill the cow. And I swear to God, that was one of the most hilarious things I have ever seen in my life. And this kind of reminds me of that <laughs> right now. Please. Oh my god. Is it dead? <laughs> it's dead. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna eat cougar tonight, boys. Oh, the turtle is alive. I can't believe the turtle is actually alive. It's just a little bit scratch. It doesn't have a tail. It's been torn off. Oh my god. But the rest is kind of fine. It's got a cracked shell. It's gonna heal. This tortoise is a champion. Holy crap. I actually can't believe that happened. And now we have cougar leather. Great. Sounds good to me. What is happening? There's a visitor. A group from the kinship of Caxigo are visiting the colony. They seem to be willing to trade. It's Spider, Abanero, and Due. Okay. They have bow and arrows. Uh-oh, there's a raid. A group of tribes people from the Grey Old Capigoror. Grey? The Grey Old Cap is that is that you? It's a dude with a knife. A naked dude with a knife. Or dudette? Is that a lady? Uh, how do I check? It is a female. It's Nane Bikwe Scooby. She's very good at crafting. She's kind of a careful... Sh oh my god. We may want to... Um, okay, we may want to capture this one if we can. Maybe make a little extra room over here. I think this is going to be like the proper size of our bedrooms. Uh, we're going to put a bed here and this is going to be our prison. What do they need? A bed, a stool, a chair, I think. Um, a freaking wall light. That's it for now. That's even more than our people have. So, And so, where is it coming from? She. There. Okay, so Effa and Aura. Craft it again. What the hell is that guy? Girl. Okay. Well, ready. We, um... <laughs> we shot a leg. Perfect. Oh, she's got a wooden foot. Well then. Okay, slow down, people. We don't want to kill her. Jesus. Okay, we shot torso again. Okay, now we shot the right leg. And she's dead. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> well. Ain't that a shame? Ah. Uh... Can we move the bodies somewhere where we can't see them? What if we make a little... Um, a little stockpile zone over here. I did shoot her 10 times when you guys surprised when she died. Well, they usually either die or they fell on the floor. There's a little exclamation mark and it says, oh, you can... Um, 
you can now rescue, imprison, or kill, right? Corpses. Human corpses. Yes. Human corpses. Because people don't like to see dead bodies. So look at that. Effa is going to hide the body. Eventually it's going to decompose and we don't care about that. We're not going to give it a burial. What the fuck? They tried to kill us. Oh! Um, Aura. Is that you? You're the social one? Yes. Talk to Spider. See if they have something cool to trade. Okay, so. Um, there's a bug on my screen. Die. There you go. They have some herbal medicine. There's some pemmicans. What is pemmican? A preserved mashed mixture of fat and plant food. Tastes bland but not offensive. That's a very long time without refrigeration. Great for traveling. Nice. Steel knife, but we don't have people that can use it, so they have nothing. Can we sell them a knife? We can sell them this knife, right? Yeah. Set. Cool. Am I missing something here? Like, should I be worried about... Oh, wow. Yes, I should. Um... We need to make a research bench. Oh god, that's really big, isn't it? Flipping heck. Uh, sure, you know what? I'll stay there. It can go there. And the little chair. Can we haul these things and move them away from the room? I think I might want to start building more bedrooms now. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be like this. Yeah, that's that's a room. So it's gonna be like this. And then obviously it's gonna cut there. What happened? Nothing. So this is gonna be it, pretty much. We need a lot of wood. Oh! There's a bulk good trader from Oramba. A caron from the Ramba is approaching. They are a bulk goods trader. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but they will anger the faction. I don't want to anger them. Oh my god, there's so many. What the hell? Okay, cool. Um, where's my colony? So I wanted to order more wood cutting. Goodness me, they're just sitting around there. Betty chatted about hickory trees with Lucky. Oh wait, Lucky is the one that we uh I see. They came back. If I spoke about pets with aura. Interesting. They have turkeys. Look at that. How are we doing with food? Not great. We might want to hunt. Hunt? More uh, wildlife. Hunt rats. We can hunt turkeys. Wait. Is it going to hunt these turkeys? <laughs> I don't know. We can hunt a red fox. Can we? I think foxes can be dangerous, though. So maybe not now. It's fucking 29 degrees! It feels like... Well, it's still better than Italy. 
A corner fox is more dangerous than a jackal. Mm. Is that is that what they say? Okay, guys, who wants to be the tortoise without a tail? We need to start naming people. And I feel like this turtle deserved a name now. It has survived an attack of a cougar. Named it after chat. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I ask exactly. Who wants to be this turtle? Okay, since you pointed it out, you're gonna be the turtle. How do I rename? How do we rename the turtle? Um. I know you can rename the turtle. Oh, okay. How do I do that though? That's a big question. Ah, wait. Might be this one. Tortoise one. Is it your turtle? How do we rename the turtle? Turtley. <laughs> oh, guys. I mean, if somebody can tell me how. Ah, there you go. Ah, uh, quick cow. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> it's meeting turtle? No, it's not. That feels good. <laughs> I mean... What? going all right do we need more food or anything a red fox is un hunting aquica for food <gasps> effa fuck me aura oh my god oh no oh no oh the turtle is about to die Is dead. <laughs> Just name it. Fuck me. Oh my god, what is it what is happening here? Name the fox out of me quick. Also hunting Aquica. <laughs> Too late. Holy shit. Oh, that was kind of funny. Well, I'll tell you what. We can eat the turtle now. <laughs> Look at Effa butchering Aquica. <laughs> 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 oh, that was ruthless. <laughs> Once it does videos with Hilo release. Like buns or something in the wild, just there to be snatched up by a bird. I know, right? Oh man. Oh! Guys, we have rice. Oh man, we're gonna cook you. We're gonna cook you and we're gonna eat you. Need a research project. How do we do that? This. Ah, right. What do we want to make first? Um, water meal gen? Yes. Research. No should be concerned. Well, I mean, it's too late for any concern. Your food now.
Oh, that was hilarious. Is this fully refrigerated? Yes. We need to deconstruct all of this. At least now the dog is sleeping there. Who wants to be the dog? Come on. <laughs> I feel like now nobody wants to be pets. Uh, I'm gonna move the dog bed uh, somewhere. Oh, there's a fire. What the hell? Why? Oh shit. People? Quick. Fuck, fuck. There's a fire. Come on, guys. No, don't pick up wood. Extinguish the fire. Freaking hell. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Holy shit. What is it with your turtles without tail? Who wants to be a dog? Is that just your revenge for how much we bully you usually? No, I'm, I'm honestly trying to not kill people. <laughs> Oh my god, the dog just died! Another the cougar! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! Chioko, no! Oh fuck. Oh, the cougar is actually eating Chioko. Well, that just happened. So now Effa is going to be super depressed. Why is she walking so slow? She's got major food poisoning. That sounds really bad. A fault in the electrical conduit has caused a short circuit and started the fire. Right. Um, is she the only one with food poisoning? Yes. What did she eat? If I should you... You should be resting. Oh, the cougar is right there. I feel like he's gonna try to kill somebody, you know? I don't like it. Oh! Minor break risk on Effa, of course, because now she's super stressed. She's an intense... Oh my god, look at this fucking thing. She's got very low expectation, which is really good in this colony. Um, she likes the room she's sleeping in. She's comfortable, but she doesn't have any artificial body parts. So she's a bit frustrated. She slept in the cold. We need some heaters. What are you talking about? It's not cold. Uh, she look. She, she does not like the look of this place. A freaking bug again. Just go die. She doesn't like darkness. Uh, she lives in an awful barrack. <laughs> Her bonded animal died. She's ravenously hungry. And she's in, in, in under intense pain. Great. I feel like we need floor in the freezer. Because right now we have all the food on the ground and it's going to get contaminated. So, <coughs> we need to make a stone cutter table and then we can make some pavement I hope
More colonists? Well, we always need more colonists, but... That just needs to happen. We don't have a lot of wood. Okay, so Sumo's on the case now. So we can start deconstructing these beds, like that one. We'll in uninstall and reinstall right there. Wait, no, uh, hold on. Reinstall right there. What the f What was that pathing? The good thing about this is that now we can at least do this. And we have a, an actual bedroom. How cold is it? It's not that cold outside. It's 15 degrees. It's perfect to sleep. To sleep well. It's a good temperature. Oh, ooh, what happened here? Oh, she healed. Effa. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Look, she's playing now. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, good job, guys. Keep cutting wood. Um, chop more wood. Oh, is, is this... That looks ready. This looks ready. That looks ready. There's a dead fox. Allow it. It's fresh. You can eat that. These bushes, can we just cut them? Also, can we have a roof over here? How do we expand the roof area? Build a roof area. Can we have that? I want it to be nice. And roofed. Of the gen and bad. Oh, that's right, yeah. I mean, batteries, I don't think we need them right now. Or do we? Do we need them? Wait! Who put granite chunks in the freaking fridge? What the actual... what? That is just not right. Need warm clothes. It's not even... what time is it? It's just... it's summer. Were they before the zone? Were they? I mean, it could be. <laughs> I'm getting super angry at something that... Didn't really happen. Okay, guys, you can wake up now. Come on, there's a lot of work to do. Aura and Susumu quipped about eating habits. Good. Good for you guys. Aura viciously insulted Susumu. Son, usefulness. What? It's 18 degree cold night and they got no external wall in their living space. You complain about them wanting clothes. Yes! 18 degrees? That's... Fantastic weather. I wish I could sleep in 18 degrees. Oh my god, come on guys. Can somebody prioritize aura? What the fuck are you doing? Okay. 
Effa. Effa and Susumu spoke about vacation. What the fuck, vacation? Go build a stupid wall. There you go. Good job. Finally. Okay, so that is a prisoner bed. Okay, stone cutter table. Bill. Let's make. Uh, what do we have? This is all granite. Granite? Granite. So we want to make some granite blocks. How many? As many as you can. A hundred? Is that right? Take the best stockpile, any worker. Sure. Do it. So he's gonna make our nice and lovely granite blocks, and with those we can actually make some good floor. Floors. So we're gonna have granite tile all over here. And there. And then we can we can start doing it in the rooms. I want normal conduit. Uh, hang on a second. Maybe you want to run the conduit like down here. A gift from Kinship of Caxigo. 15 plus deal. Oh, thank you. That was kind of cool. Okay, so then we want um, furniture. Wall lights. Want wallet in there? Wallet in there? Wallet in there? And maybe we can reinstall this over here. Is it working? Are they doing it? Are they? I think it's happening. Okay, we also want to um, get the wooden bed and put it here. Ambrosia sprout. A grove of the mysterious ambrosia bush has sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, they'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. Oh, cool. Okay, fine. Okay, Aura's bed is going to be right here in the middle. Look at this! Everyone now has its own room. Unbelievable. We did it. Slightly like what could possibly be wrong. I don't know. Nothing, clearly. Uh, I think it's the 7th of August. We need to start planting cotton and make some winter gear. So I'm going to make a nice growing zone over here. And this is going to be cotton. Then we can have a tailor. Hand tailor bench. Oh, look at the, the freezer is actually looking quite good now. Okay, let's have a few more simple meals. Oh my god, look at these bedrooms now. What's the temperature in the freezer? Uh, it's minus six. These rooms, oh my god, that room is a bit hot. Um, we might want to install vents. Let's 
So a campfire. I feel like they already are sleeping in a campfire. 24 degrees. That's pretty hot. That's a bunch of sandstone as well that we can haul. Man, we only have three colonists. We need someone new. We need able hands to, um, to do a hauling. An archaeological expedition from Oramba is approaching. There are archaeological expedition. Okay, yeah, I know. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. Cool. Look at them. <gasps> they have llamas. Is that a llama? Oh my god, that's an alpaca. Oh, I want an alpaca. I kind of want an alpaca now. Oh, there's a raid. From the Grey Colony, of course. Those assholes. It's uh, opossum. Oh my god, opossum has a... Sh Wow, that is a lot of melee. She's very jealous. She's tough. And abrasive. I mean... Okay. Where's the person gonna come from? From the south. Oh, look at all the people. Um, Effa. Why don't you... No, wait, it's Aura. Aura, why don't you go talk to Law Landry? See what they have. Oh my god, they have a lot of shit to say. They have telescopes. Oh my god, telescopes. They have the wooden game of Ur. Dating from 2,500 years ago. They have a slate grand sculpture. A long sword. A uranium spear. I'm sorry, I feel like that's really bad. The fox meats and packaged stuff and sure. You know what? You can have these pants if you want. I'm gonna craft my pants very soon. Oh look at Aura installing the vents. Wait, uh, where's the opossum? Okay, opossum is beginning the assault. Effa Aura drafted. Come over here. Can you hide behind the tree? Where is she coming from? Where is she coming from? The fuck, where is she coming from? She's gonna cross the bridge. Unbelievable. I told you the bridge would work. Oh, careful. Don't shoot our nice guests. I feel like. What is happening? Uh oh. Careful. Careful. Jesus Christ, what is happening here? Oh no, Dina! Oh, a headshot! Oh my god. Oh, there's no... I said headshot, but there's no damage to the head. Ah, huh, interesting. Okay, we want to... Wait, is she running away? No, she isn't. Wait, was that a left ear? Oh, it is a left ear. Right. I didn't see that. Hey, we got it. Okay. Effa, capture a possum. Do we want to rescue Dina? I mean, we're missing a bed. Really? 
That's all we're missing, though. We can probably build a little bed very quickly. Susumu, you can prioritize building that bed. Okay, check this out. We're gonna build this bed. We're gonna make it a medical bed. And then uh, Fa's gonna go and rescue Dina. And I feel like the tribe is gonna be nice to us after that. Okay. Why is Aura... Hold on a second, there's something wrong here. Aura is not our doctor, why is she doctoring? Why does she keep doctoring? Susumu, what is the deal with you? Why don't you want a doctor? There you go. Look at this. He, oh my god, poor Dina. So, Dina has got s extreme blood loss. She's got a stab wound to the torso, a cut on the right shoulder and on the right arm. She's got asthma. She's got a crack in the sternum. She's got a gunshot wound to the leg from a bolt action rifle. I don't know where that came from. Uh, she's got a stab wound to the left hand and on the left fourth toe. Jesus Christ. Don't know where the what happened. Uh, the trade caravan is leaving. Okay. Ifa, what are you doing? Okay. So who's our um, best warden? Aura. Right. Disease. Dean has gotten sick from infection. Uh oh. Got them. Susumu need warm clothes. Susumu, are you wearing anything? You're wearing a flak vest, seen thread pants, and a t-shirt. All very good condition. What the fuck are you talking about? How's the temperatures in there? 17 degrees. I feel like we probably don't need that thing anymore. The passive cooler, right? What's the temperature in a place that's not passively cool? 18. So we're gonna remove it. Deconstruct. Of an idle colonist? Who is it? No, we Aura, what are you doing? Do we have wood? I do. Look at this guy. He's got an infection. Where is it? Oh! Dina's fine! Dina's no longer incapable of walking. Oh, Dina, good for you, man. You're free to go. Be careful out there. You should have you should have stayed in bed. Crazy. Take a bet if Dina makes it to the edge of the map before passing. <laughs> is, she, is she picking up her stuff? Oh, she is. Good stuff. Why are we missing a light in there? What is happening? Do we need it? Oh. What the shit? Oh no, wait, Dina went back to bed. She, j she just went to pick up her stuff. Okay. 
We're wasting a lot of medicine on Dina, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> we might have an issue at some point. Did they make herbal medicine plants? I did not. A friendly AI from your past named Charlon Wiseson has sent you a message. You're an AI? What? He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive. Then defend it from raiders, trying to steal it, until the startup is complete. If you can get the ship to the, off the ground, Charlon will take you off this rim world to the stars. Cool. I don't know what that means. Um, where is that? Do we know? Is, is that it? Land the ship. That is really far away. I'm not gonna do it. Can we build our own spaceship at some point? Research. Starship reactor? I think we can. Starflight basic? Hell yeah, we can. Okay, so what are you guys doing? There's a oh oh shit! It's a mad boomalope. Oh Christ! Okay, that sounds terrible. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is oh okay. You shot. Front leg. Aura? Shit. Oh! You guys? I don't want the bridge to burn. Cannot extinguish fire, not in home area. What are you talking about? Home area. Oh, I see. Come on, guys. Don't don't let the bridge burn. I don't know how to fix it. So please. Okay, good. Also, it will spread to the colony. Can we eat the boomalope? Is that something we can do? <laughs> Apparently. Okay, bills. Here we go. Add a bill for cowboy hats. No, we want to start making winter gear, so we need parkas and tooks. Tooks and parkas and uh, cowboy hats? Yeah. So, we're gonna do this. One per colonist. Count equipped. Wait, is that what we want to do? Okay, no, wait, what? 30? No, okay. One per colonist. Count equipped. Want to use whatever. What's this? I don't know. Um, any quality? Let's make normal quality. No scene thread. No hyperweave. Anything else is fine. Take the best off any worker. Sure. Close. 
So can we copy them? Details. Uh, so same thing, right? One per colony. Normal quality. No scene thread and no hyperweave. Okay. Same things for this. One per colonist. Normal. Count equipped. Close. And that should make one per colonist. And if we get a new colonist, it's going to make even more. Meanwhile, opossum here. Prisoner. So, it's got a resistance of 46. We're going to reduce the resistance as much as possible before trying to um, recruit. Dina is slowly healing. Oh, look. She developed um, immunity to the infection. That's pretty nice. I feel like she's going to be fine in some time. It's going to take a while, but... <clears throat> Although, I think we spent enough medicine for Dina. So, we want to plant, as we talked about, a little uh, a little bit of um, the heal root. That's not a good zone. What do we do it? Down here? Do we want just a strip of heal root? Like this. Across the road, that's fine. It's a bit of a weird area, but sure. Um, it's gonna be. Your root. Requires eight skill. None of you. Oh. Okay, well. No one has eight in the skill, but I'm sure it'll happen over time. Look at this! Aura told a story about health to a possum, or ask a possum about her muscles. Oh, we're trying to make her f make friends with her. Or offer the chance for a possum to discuss finding friends. Or ask a possum about her recreational preferences. Or describe letting go to a possum, and then she asked her to join. So we chipped away one point of resistance. That's pretty nice. We're gonna do that 45 times, and then we <laughs> can recruit a possum. Fuck. Wait, why do we have medicine here? Are we allowing medicine in here? Oh shit. Oh, that was a good catch. We have a visitor. A digger from the kingship of Caxigo, Bren Peko. Okay. He's gone. It's the 11th of August. We're getting closer to winter. Winter is coming, guys. Okay, we need to start thinking about um, policies. How do we do that? Like clothing policies. Manage outfits. Okay, so we can do a new outfit. We can. Wait, what? Select outfit? What is all this? Okay, yeah. We can call this. Summer. Outfit. Uh, anything. Normal quality. That's in good condition, because they like to have good condition stuff, right? So we can have t-shirts. No parkas. Dusters? Sure, that's fine. Jackets. Green armor, yeah, sure. Pants, yes. 
Headgear. Um, helmets, bullet hats, no. We just want cowboy. I like cowboy hats. Oh, but bowlers have social. A mix of the two. We can have both of them. Saki foil, simple helmets, tribal, no tukes, no war masks, no war veils. Just hats. Just normal hats. Okay, so that's gonna be our summer outfit. And then we can tell. Summer outfit. Yeah? And then we can make a new one, and this is gonna be winter outfit. We're gonna clear all. Don't allow tainted. It's gonna be pants, parkas, and tooks. Because that's the warm stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, look, a possum. A possum is up. How are we doing with these floors? Who's... Who's paving? Who's the one that doing the, that job? Um... I mean... It's fine? What's that noise? I heard a weird noise. Man, the fridge is nearly full. Um, should we start making good food? Let's make some fine meals. Let's say until you have 20. Because look at that, we're stacking food. Also, um, wildlife. This creature is a predator. When hungry, it will hunt similar smaller creatures. A timber wolf. That's dangerous, isn't it? Let's hunt those, those, a squirrel. Let's hunt some turkeys. And we have very, very dangerous wildlife in this place. Holy crap, that was a turkey. I mean, it's good. This is good because we are um, training our dudes to be a bit more... Um, a bit better at shooting. Why is this guy... Stacking food. Oh, look at Susumu cooking the good meals. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna have good food. Oh my god! The f aura! Extinguish Susumu! <laughs> Never mind, extinguish the fire there. Run back. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh god. What is happening? Oh, for fuck's sake. Guys? Oh, it's burning. It's burning a lot. <laughs> Would you put him out? Oh my god. How do you manage to not extinguish yourself while standing in a river? That is a very good question. What happened to Dima? God, that is apparently the, um, the one we killed. D I think Dima's gone. Oh, look at the quality, the 100% quality of the tending. 
but we used actual real medicine, which is bad. Um, how do we make our chances to recruit better? How do we make a better room for them? Is that gonna make any difference? Man, we're chipping away quickly. Already done seven points of resistance. Uh, look at Aura feeding Susumu. What the hell is that? That's a walk. That seems very dangerous. Should we attack it while it's sleeping? The society soothe every colonist of the male gender smile with contentment. So this engine of happiness is steering. Oh, Susumu is going to be super happy. Except he's um, in shock due to pain. <laughs> but happy. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, he's up. It's up for cooking. A crazy bastard. Okay, the war has gone away. That's good. We definitely need... How much do we have? 814. Didn't I say make it until... You have 29 granite blocks. I think we have enough. Stop making them. Oh yeah, repairing this stuff. Susumu, what the hell are you doing? Oh, whatever happened to those plants? Was supposed to be growing around here. What the fuck is happening here? I think there's a killer on the loose. Um. What were they? Or where were they even? They looked like little green mushrooms, right? They were somewhere around here. I think. Are they gone? Something bad happened to those things? can't see them. I think they're gone. Because we're already at the colony now. Mm. Well. The Ambrosia's gone. It doesn't matter. Okay, I mean, there is a bit of a problem right now because we don't have a lot of colonists, and some things are just not gonna get it, uh, uh, not getting done. You know, people are not replanting. People are not building the floors. People are not researching. Ooh. Item stash quest. Fiel smell. <laughs> sure. 
The Prime Councillor of Oramba has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth $2,415. Uh, not far from us. The collection consists of a sandstone sculpture, silver chest table, and bionic spine. Unfortunately, it won't last. So, the values tend to attract danger. Fjell smell. Says there are... There's an enemy outpost. Got to by two enemies. It's right there. Where are we? Hot, hot, hot. It's, it's close. I can't go there. How do you get colonists usually? Well, um, you can convert them into colonists when you capture them and then you turn them into one of yours. Sometimes they fall from the sky, like in a capsule, that you can rescue them. Sometimes they are chased by enemies, so you can rescue them. They immediately join, but then you have to fight off the, guard, the, the people chasing them. You can buy them as slaves of slavers. Suma decided to cook now. Which is pretty weird. Because you spend the entire night time cooking. Do we have enough wood for winter? We have 270. And there's a pelt trader. Okay, I don't think we need that. Why are we short-circuiting that much? Is it because we don't have a battery? We have a surplus of energy. Aura failed to calm a dog down. A dog? Aura? What the? Try to calm dog down. Dog. Where the fuck is dog? What? Oh my lord. There's people. Okay, <laughs> that spooked me a little. So should we make a little battery? Oh, we can't make a battery, can we? Minor break risk. Effa. Why? What's wrong, Effa? You're cold. You slept in the cold. You've got an awful bedroom. And your animal died, of course. How do we make this room better again? Do we want like uh, a dresser, an end table maybe? Smoothson engrave. Oh, I feel like that's <laughs> it's a bit of a problem now. <laughs> What? Did they just use my room to eat? Get the fuck off here. God damn. Oh, look. Aura is building stuff. Effa? I swear to God. That room is now a lot better. Yes? No? A gift! Oh, more plasteel. I like these people gifting me plasteel all the time. Is 
Is it getting cold though? I think it's getting quite cold. It's 10 degrees. Okay. We, we, okay, I see why it's cold. Uh, we need heaters. Can I have a passive one? Heater. I'm gonna put it in here. And I hope that's gonna warm all the rooms. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. There's a cougar hunting Susumu. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Everyone drafted. Susumu, get in there. I forgot get over there. Aura, right there. Good job, people. Cougar revenge. A cougar is attacking after being harmed. Fuck off. already partially cooked <laughs> it's fine look it was fine now we have a good bit of cougar meat mmm yummy there's a solar flare intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices for one day uh oh uh oh food is gonna deteriorate. It's only one day though. We should be fine. Construction botched. Oh my god, I can't believe she's actually making the floor. It's happening. It's finally happening. How is my food? It's perfectly fine. There's a transport pod crash, an evangelist named Stilt is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives, he will be badly wounded. Okay, this is exactly how we get new people. Susumu. Capture. There's no capturable of oh, freaking hell. Uh, we need to turn our hospital into a prison thing. And then we probably need to build another one. Minor break risk for Effa again. Jesus, Effa. You're even eating good food now. What do you want? Okay. Power is back online. We need to focus on this heater. Uh, who's a good... Susumu, can you build that? Can I focus on heater? Effa, can you do it? Yes, you can. There you go. See the heater now. We can set a... Oh, look. All the rooms are now about 20 degrees. Is that good? Do we need more? It's fine, right? I think it's fine. Stills is not longer incapable of walking. So. Put up to 100 and see the fluids in the body is boiling. It's like temperature disco in there. <laughs> the main building is fucking freezing. Oh, it, it kind of is, yeah. Seven degrees. We're gonna need a, a heater in there too. Huh? Oh, 
Oh, look! We can recruit this guy. He's got only 8 resistance left. The heater is going to warm up your freezer. It shouldn't, though. There's no vent between the two rooms. Oh, but they keep opening and closing the fucking door. I see. Well, it just means that we're gonna have to set this a bit lower. I need an airlock. Can I build it? Hmm. Is it this research thingy? Double walls and airlock to keep... Oh, like... Oh, that kind of airlock. Oh, I see. Well, I think it's okay for now. These are frozen, and that's fine. So it's go it's alright. For now, it's alright. A little hallway with two doors, yeah. Uh, but as soon as we build... Um, the water turbine, the water mill. We're gonna get rid of this wood gen. And then we can expand this a little and make a little airlock. There's a psychic drone. Every fall, every colonist of the female gender wins us in pain. Oh, great. Effa's gonna have a freaking meltdown. Yeah, there it is. There it is. We're using a lot of food to um, for these prisoners. Can we choose what kind of food we give them? Oh, speaking of, what does Dils do? Is uh, very social. Oh my god, autistic and fuck all else. Good to know. Resistance is dropping quick. Oh, it's raining as well. Oh, that's pretty nice. I don't like how inconsistent the floor building is. <laughs> it's like a little patch here, a little patch here, one quarter of a tile there, a bunch there, almost the freezer. Like, come on, guys. Pick one and finish it. Okay, how are the temperatures now? It's alright. I mean, the disco is working. I think. Maybe they want a little warmer. Oh, Susumu is finally planting... Uh-oh. Stop. There's a warg hunting Susumu. Okay. Cut them. Every single time. Susumu, so hide in the freezer. <laughs> Did you just shot my... F Fucking Jen? Oh, stop. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Run! Run! Go inside! Ow! Oh, God! Did not come inside. Wait, why would you... No! What the fuck? Oh, the... <laughs> oh my God. Um, what, the... what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Punch it. Fuck, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
What are you guys doing? You're bleeding. You're bleeding too. We need a medical bed. Oh fuck. <laughs> Whoa! Is that bad one? Oh, that was a neutral one. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I don't know why all these random animals hate Susumu. Every time there's a wild one, they go straight for him. Oh my god. Well, guys, I think we're gonna... Come on. I think we're gonna leave it at this for today, but holy crap. This game is amazing. I love this game. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, there's blood everywhere now. Look, Aura is cleaning it up. Oh, good job. I think she's gonna go back to the medical bed. That What a trooper. Unbelievable. Susumu just cooks. It doesn't do much. It plants and cooks. Finally planting heal root though. Feeding Ephra. Ephra? Ephra. We need new names for these people though. What's happening? Ephra is fully healed and the psychic drone is ending. Thank goodness, because Ephra's gonna have a freaking meltdown. Opossum, you're, you're eating all my good food. You better be more than happy about it. Still. He's trying to sleep, but apparently Aura woke. Him? Her? Him. Woke him up. Just to try and recruit him. Hey! Hey! You wanna join a colony? I know you're hurt. I know you're sleeping. But do you wanna join a colony? God damn. What is that? It's a dead turkey. It's desiccated. Recruitment difficulty 99%? For him? No. Was it? 28. It's fine. Oh, opossum. Right. That'll go down, I think. Just a hundred tries as you get to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, I think once you removed all the resistance, uh, the recruitment chance is also going to go down over time. But yeah, so far still seems um, the one. But unfortunately, when you send them to hunt or keep out, the turkey is not permitted to be carried. It was just forgotten. I think that was a turkey hunted by a beast. And so it wasn't... We didn't have permission to pick it up. What's a colony? Where are they? Oh. Well, this is good. Perfectly good wild root. Where do we craft uh, medicine? Hunt the boomalops? Hell no. Do we make medicine at the start? I don't know where, the, where we make it. Oh, we need a crafting spot, don't we? To craft simple medicine out of heal root. Um, production? Crafting spot. I think this is it. Here we can 
add a bill for... No. We can make joints, though. I don't know. Maybe we need... Something else? I don't know. Ephra is now building more tiles in a random room. There's a Kugo, another Kugo hunting Susumu. Are you fucking? <gasps> okay, Susumu, hide in there. Ephra, hide in there. Aura, do not move. Susumu, <laughs> Susumu is now hiding. Is the Kugo gone? Oh my god. Is it chill now? Can Susumu leave or is he gonna get ambushed by a fucking cougar again? What is it with Susumu? Is he particularly tasty? What is he doing as well? He's gone crazy. Can I build animal traps? I can build some traps. Spy traps. They work for humans as well. They, they work well in a place like this, on a bridge. I'll do it eventually. I think we may use herbal medicine just like that. And then we need something else to use the proper medicine. Which is boiling? No, it's not. I don't think so. Oh man, anyway, I, I really need to go. Like, I'm, I, I just want to keep playing this, you know? Still to sleeping on the floor for some reason. Eight without a table. You have a little stool. Did I make a stool instead of a fucking table? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. I mean, I'm sorry. Is an end table f good enough? Or do, do they actually need a proper table? A wooden table. I don't know. I need to do with my own temperature disco? I do, I really do. Like, right now my room is like this. The computer is trying to push it to... <laughs> Towards the red. And the AC is trying to pull it down to the blue. There you go. Oh my god, they're eating on... I see. They don't like eat while standing up. Low mood? I don't know what that means. Okay, stills. As only one resistance, we're gonna move into recruit mode. But, I think we're gonna stop right here and save. Because holy crap, I can keep playing this game for hours and hours so 
This is good though, I'm enjoying this. We're gonna alternate with uh, Darkest Dungeon, I think. Until I feel like playing something else. Or until, you know, my colony eventually burns to the ground and everybody just get rabies and dies. Wait, wrong game? Possibly, we don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I will be back tomorrow, same time, probably, hopefully. So, for now, have a good day, have a good night. And goodbye.